Ladies and gentlemen, referee John McCarthy's called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 39 seconds of round number three, declaring the winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke. And the new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Daniel DC. You have no idea the joy I feel when I break a man's spirit. I love it. It doesn't matter who it is, you know? It, for me, it's the competition that drives me. DC is my biggest opponent by far. He's the guy that beat me. He's the one guy that made me have a reality check, you know, that made me want to get better. Go! Three, two, one, good. Sometimes an opportunity comes up that you just can't pass. That opportunity for Daniel Cormier came up when John Jones got stripped of his title and suspended indefinitely by the UFC for a hit and run accident in New Mexico. Uh, when I found out John was out and I was gonna get to fight Rumble for the belt, it was amazing because I always knew that uh, if I was fighting Anthony Johnson, I felt confident. Whenever John got taken off the card, I guess I can say I really didn't care. It was for a title, so I just wanted to fight because it was an opportunity to fight for a championship. So why worry about, you know, who it is? I worked my butt off to get where I am. I felt like I was well prepared to uh, be ready for anything. First time since 2011, a man other than John Jones will be called champion at 205. I don't think anybody is is an um, easy opponent, regardless of who they beaten or who they lost to. This is top of the food chain right now, so everybody's gonna be tough. So I didn't take Daniel for granted at all. The first fight, the one thing that surprised me was his speed. I knew he was, he was powerful and I knew he was explosive, but I did not expect him to be as fast as he was. And he gets rocked. Rumble with big power early. So that very first right hand sent me flying across the octagon because I just didn't have enough time to get out of the way. It surprised me that he could take it, but he took a couple of shots in that fight that didn't put him down. Big right hand by John Slott. Big kick and by turn. TC. Oh, wow. Overhand right wow. again. I gassed myself out whenever I tried to finish him. And you know, that was my fault, but, but he capitalized on it and made me carry his weight and he wrestled me to death. He has been carrying Daniel's weight like this and this is absolutely exhausting. I love seeing him panting gasping for air on his hands and knees. Man, get Daniel off of me. Don't give up, let's go! I heard his coaches yell, don't give up. That tells me that they've seen it either in fights or they've seen it in the practice room. So what it did for me was it gave me an extra boost. I was like, wow, I can actually go finish him. He's gonna tap. Because he's about ready to pack it in. It is all over! Daniel Cormier! It's the new UFC Light Heavyweight Champion! fight didn't turn out how I wanted to. It's definitely different preparing for John versus Daniel, but I'm glad I have plenty of time now to make sure I don't get as tired and make sure I outwork him whenever the time comes. Okay, here we go. Let's go, work. He says he's the king of grind, so I'm glad he said that because that just made me work just as hard. Mental toughness, there's no comparison between me and Anthony. Come on, DC, you beat his ass. His power is way more than mine, yes. My wrestling's way better than his, yes. But there is no bigger gap in this fight than my mental toughness over his mental toughness. Because I know I'll go through the fire, and I don't know if Anthony's willing to do that. I say time and time again that to get this belt off of me and to beat me, you're gonna have to go to hell and back, bring your lunch pail. I don't think Anthony's comfortable bringing his backpack to work and going for 25 minutes. I'm glad Daniel says the things that he says because, you know, he, he somebody has to build up his confidence, you know what I mean? If he feels I'm mentally weak, that's fine. We'll see. Daniel knows that I can change the outcome of, of a fight any second. Rumble has looked amazing in the last three fights. He knocks people out. Oh, my! Rumble is a machine right now! What he's able to do is so different than anyone else. You know, you can't absorb one or two. The only one has been able to is Cormier. DC can take a hell of a shot. The first time I landed a big punch and it almost flew him away, but he survived the first one. I don't know if he can survive two. Oh, that's it! He's so powerful, so strong, so confident in his punching power. 
The biggest question I always had was how does he deal with adversity? And when I dealt him some adversity, he didn't deal well with it. This is a wearing, grinding type of fight. Rumble trying to survive. I, mean, I want to f this guy up. Oh, my goodness. I want him going home going, holy f Maybe I should go down to 185 or go up to heavyweight. Because I ain't beating Daniel. Wow, what a powerful takedown. Hard uppercuts by DC. Cummins is in all sorts of trouble. It is all over. I want to test my will against that man's will and see if he's tough enough to actually go through the fight. We're both determined and we're putting in hard work, but I think it's whoever makes the least amount of mistakes and who wants it the most, is that's who's gonna win the fight. And now they'll go to battle for the light heavyweight belt. Will it be Cormier or will it be Johnson? My ultimate goal is just to, to be the champion. I think, I think I can do that. I know I can do that. You know, I just have to go out there and do my best, man, and just give him my all. Anthony's a good guy. He'd be a good champion, but it's just unfortunate that we are fighting at the same time because I cannot allow him to be. I'm going to drown him again. And I'm gonna look back and he'll be laying on the ground and crying on the stool just like he did last time. My goal is to get that championship belt around my waist again. That's what I want more than anything. But you can't get there without taking one fight at a time. Oh my, he got hit! Oh! It is all over! Oh Chris if I didn't think I could beat everybody in this division, I wouldn't be fighting. I just would be done. I feel like I'm the best fighter in the world, and I got a good guy in front of me to be able to prove it. Oh, my oh, God. And it's all over. Wow. Gegard Mousasi. Gegard Mousasi versus Chris Weidman is a fight between two of the very best 185-pound fighters in the world. Chris Weidman is the former UFC middleweight champion, and for the first time in his career, he's coming off of two losses in a row, both by stoppage. Losing is part of life, you know? It's something that you always have to be able to handle. I just gotta get back on the horse and keep on working. Ah, nice, again. Weidman was undefeated heading into the Rockhold fight and had beaten legends like Anderson Silva and Vitor Belfort. But I made one bad decision. I'll make sure I don't make that mistake again. We're gonna get that old Chris back. I think the training's going phenomenal. And I expect to see that guy that smothers his opponents implementing his wrestling along with the strikings. I think it's going to be a phenomenal fight. Weidman with some serious ground and pound. Vitor's in deep, deep trouble. Once we decided we were fighting Musashi, I was just very excited. I think it's a great matchup for me. He's a tough guy, very experienced. He's on a nice win streak. So I think this fight is a better fight for me to push myself right back into title contention. Oh, good kick to the body by Weidman. It hurt him. It hurt him. This is a big moment for Weidman. An absolutely huge must-win fight, and he is taking on a man who's one of the most versatile and experienced 185-pound fighters in the world. Absolutely dominant performance by Gegard Mousasi. For this fight, I'm excited. Yeah, everywhere he's good. He's a very solid fighter in all areas. But if I want to fight for the belt, I need to win this fight, and I'm gonna win. Gegard Mousasi has been a champion in other organizations outside the UFC. He's coming off of three knockout victories in a row, including a revenge fight against the last man to beat him, Uriah Hall. Gegard Mousasi settles I should have beat him in the first time. So I said, well, I'm going to beat Uriah Hall up bad. There are no other middleweight fighter better than Gegard. He's the very, very best. The only thing, he needs the title shot. He can prove the whole world. He's the very best and he got the belt. Win the belt, that's accomplishment for all my years of fighting. To finish the career with a title, that would mean a lot. Submission victory for Gegard Mousasi. Standing guillotine for Chris White. I go out there and dominate Mousasi. They're not going to be able to deny it. I'll be fighting for the belt again. I'm excited to go out there and beat him up.